come back. Let's jump straight into it. Be aware of widowmakers. Widowmaker. Um, best start ever. <laughs> Take two. <clears throat> well, be aware of widow makers and try something. Real fast. I think the game ended, or well, the last episode ended just after I killed that guy. So there may be like a little bit you may have to, need to re watch. That's only five seconds. Alright, a little note as well that no one reads. <laughs> it's a visual story, I don't want to have to read. I mean, otherwise I would buy the book. Jesus. <coughs> Oof. Just the headphones. <clears throat> right. Spooky. So to remember how to play the game. <laughs> right. Bits, bobs. <clears throat> My voice is a bit. <laughs> Careless enough to make them fall. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's wrong? B. Wow. Miss box. Hmm. Um. Hello? Talking is not hazardous. Occupation. No, no, no. Highlight room. Whew. Easy. But it is uneasy, but to be fair. We're here for the story, not for the pressure. I wish the camera would stop switching like this. It's so annoying. Just stay on the right hand side like any other game. Who the fuck is a left hander like that? That's retarded. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What is it, crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Turn off a bit. <clears throat> I still had to reach Barry at the cap, but at least mm. I was out of the woods. That old phrase. Huh? Any hill, Bellis? Oh, yeah. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. Bonus? Hmm. 
There's gotta be a key somewhere, I guess. What happens to my shotgun? Ladies first. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Check one reach. I had to find the key to the garage. Oh, a coincidence. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. The knock first, Jesus. Do you know any manners? Uh, what's he doing? Left hand driving it, you American, Americans. Oh. Probably secrets and stuff, but I'm not doing all that. This way? No. Oh. oh god. I assume this is the right way. <laughs> Are we all fast? Are we all fast? There's the old place. I think that's my cue. Let's get out. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Damn, Daniel. Oh yeah, I've already been this way. So we came down the hill. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, here's Jesus. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need a week. It's not done. I need a week. Two days. The old yeah. Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. 
Yes, yes, I, I get you. Get me there. Hmm. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. Good. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, Sounds like you a robot. sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Oh, Wake come get them? outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Bye. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the old dear diner. Good girl. She... The end. <laughs> Not. Like a TV show or something. Come here. Pretty please. Can you tell me where I am? Wow. You want to say something? I need 
end of episode two. So chapter three is next. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice. We already know How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. A thief. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. What the hell was that? We're looking for Rose. So Works broke. as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. Boring. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Ooh. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, <laughs> there was an island there owned by a guy called <laughs> Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't mm -hmm, find a mm -hmm. single thing he wrote. Mm -hmm. Zane was heavily into mm -hmm. diving, so mm -hmm. much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Mm -hmm. well, anyway, that's enough talking. <laughs> um, I'm going to end this episode here, um, come back with the start of chapter 3. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. No.